Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing haul from Amazon of some zero waste things um, that I got. So the first one, it came in a separate, separate box, but essentially um, it's a Swiffer. And so it pulls all, you like drag this across the floor and this collects all the hair and the dirt and stuff like that. It comes with like a squeegee side, which I can't really, like that. And yeah, this is kind of to replace a Swiffer. Um, we've been trying to be better with our money and I know it seems like counterproductive to like buy something to save money, but I think this was like $12, I want to say, if I'm, I'll, you know, it'll be down below, whatever it actually is. But we go through Swiffer pads. We use at least one Swiffer pad a day. And we, I mean, we have four dogs. And so that's a lot of junk on our floors that we, you know, have to maintain. So for us just to be buying Swiffer pads to throw away, it's just kind of like throwing our money away. You know what I'm saying? Um, we've tried like the using the microfiber cloth, but honestly, it does not do as good as a job. So yeah, we go through a lot of Swiffer pads um, and just to throw them away and throw them away and throw them away, it's just kind of pointless. And the microfiber cloth like trick, it just doesn't work well enough for our needs. It, depending on what time of year it is, you could use two Swiffer pads a day in the house, like that morning, and then that afternoon need to do another Swiffer pad. Like that is how much just the, our dogs shed and, you know, whatever. So that's why I got this. I will do maybe an update on if this works. It seemed to have worked um, when I just tried it out, but Chris had just Swiffered, so it's like kind of pointless to try it on a just Swiffered day. So this is my first one, my first zero weight, zero waste swap. Um, it's not like, it's still like, this is silicone it feels like, and this could be plastic. I don't know. So it's not like made probably with the best thing, but the fact is I'm not going to have to buy Swiffer pads anymore. So as long as I can take care of this, this will be a good investment. All right. All right. So now I've got this box here. This has most of the things. Um, kind of large. Okay. So this is in here. I'm just gonna open this. Okay. Yeah. I forgot I got this. <laughs> so I got this reusable coffee filter. Um, this is the cone size two. It's made out of 55% hemp, 45% organic cotton, uh, resistant to mold, mildew, and bacteria. Moisten before each use, compost used grounds, rinse filter thoroughly, and dry. And this was made in Canada. So again, this is just kind of one of those things that I use and use and use because I don't have I don't have a K cup. So at least. I'm doing better than that. I used to have a K-cup coffee maker and I realized how much it was so horrible and I couldn't clean it and so I had to get rid of that. Now I'm just down to a regular coffee maker. Um, I do have a French press. I love coffee but anyways um, I do have a regular coffee maker now and I go through these like I use one of these a day so I figured this would be another really great easy swap and ideally like our coffee filter is going to save me like a ton of money in the long run. Probably not. What is it? Like a dollar for a pack of a hundred. That's, you know, $3 a year is not really that big of a savings. Um, but it's way better for the planet. So I'm going to try this out. I had really good reviews. So I'm excited for that. Um, I do still have coffee filters. So it's like, do you use them up? Or do I just use this? Like, what do I do with all the coffee filters? I should use them, right? Leave down in the comments below what I what I should do. All right. And then the next thing, this is all pretty 
much bath stuff. Uh, yeah. So let me see here. I'm going to start with, wait a minute. I think I'm missing something. Hold on. One minute. Okay, this was left in another box. And so I'm just going to start with it. I almost threw this away. Okay, so I'm switching all of Addison's and um, my like shower stuff over to something more natural and zero waste. What I currently have, I've, I'm using things that I was gifted. I got so much baby soap. Addison's five. I got so much baby soap, I'm still going through baby soap. So I'm trying to use it up. Um, and then I just have like a really crappy shampoo and conditioner. I've used shampoo bars before, but um, I just didn't get it last time and I'm disappointed in myself. So this is pretty much all the body stuff I got from this brand Theek. Um, you can order from their website if you want. Um, where is this made? I'm not quite sure where this made. All I know is that there was, oh, in, in New Zealand, no wonder. There was like $20 shipping on their website and I was like, uh, I can't afford $20 shipping. But they're New Zealand's, so that makes sense. So I just got these on, on Amazon. Um, this one is Addison's. I'm just trying to be so gentle taking off this sticker. It's like gonna rip it. Ah! This one's Addison. It's Ethique Odie Delicious. It's a shampoo bar for little ones. It says oats and coconut oil with lavender, all pa packaged in a perfect bar. Um, yeah. And this is Certified B Corporation. No idea what that means. Cruelty free, compostable packaging, New Zealand made. It says give up the bottle. And I think this. These bars replace three of those little bars. So, the, I mean, this soap was kind of expensive, if I'm being honest. But, it's zero waste, and it's better for the environment. Should last a long time. Yeah, so this is the oats. You can kind of see the oats in there a little bit. This one's Addison's. And this brand has amazing reviews, so... Okay, and to go along with that, I got her the Ethique uh, Lavender and Mint Body Wash Bar. Um, I use apple cider vinegar for conditioner, so I don't have any conditioner. But yeah, here's the bar. It has a little... It smells... This smells super good. I'm like low-key debating if I should just keep this for myself and not give it to her. Okay. Yeah, same, same gist of the eco-friendliness, give up the bottle. I really like the smell of this one. All right, on to me. So, for a shaving bar, I got a shaving bar from, I think it was Zero Way Shop, like, I want to say a year ago, and it was awesome. It was really good, um, but I wasn't going to make a whole order to Zero Waste Shop, so it was like, I don't want to just butt put in a whole order for one bar. That seems like kind of crazy when I could just order something different from Amazon and get it at the same time as my other stuff. So I'm trying, again, a thick tip to toe. Sh this is a shampoo and shaving bar. I'm only going to be using it for shaving um, in like, that's all I'm going to use it for. So this one is, I can't really tell the scent. What does it say the scent is? I don't know. I have no idea what the scent is. It smells like minty. Or, yeah, mint. Oh, okay. If I could read. Uh, lime, peppermint, sweet orange. Yeah. That was it. So, yeah, I, I'll give a full review, I guess, of these if I end up, well, regardless, if you want to see a review of how I feel about any of these products, just let me know. 
Um, for my soap, my body wash soap, I got the pumice, tea tree, and spearmint body wash. It comes in this container. Again, ooh, it's black. It smells like, like gum. Yeah, it's that spearmint. This smells really good. This is going to be invigorating. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And then for my shampoo, I've been having a lot of scalp problems and I think it's because of the shampoo and stuff that I've been using. It's just, it's really been drying out my scalp. Um, and I've tried other shampoos. I, I just needed, this one is aimed towards like dandruff and like scalp problems. So that's why I got this one because I just, I, I gotta get a, I gotta get a handle on what's going on on my, on my head because it is driving me insane. This one's called Healy Kiwi and ooh, it's pretty. It doesn't like, is there oatmeal in this? Let's look. Kiwi fruit oil, coconut oil, neem, kajara, and oatmeal. Yeah. You, I can't really smell the kiwi, but it has a, a, an oatmeal scent, which I don't really care. I like oatmeal, but I don't really smell kiwi. Okay. And then I needed a new face wash. Again, I got mine from the Zero Waste store. I loved it. I do love it. I still have some left a little bit. But I will put the one that I bought, I think it was from like Hello Meow Meow Tweet Tweet or what is it? I can't remember. It's like purple and yellow, I think. Um, but I really like that face wash. It's very gentle. It doesn't bother my skin. Like, I really liked it. But again, I wasn't going to do whole order for just like two things. So I'm trying out this one from um Amazon instead this was is from Aspen K Naturals Aloe Vera and Calendula this was made in Florida so it didn't have to come that far and this is recyclable ooh I I don't I don't know why I like reach forward to you like oh you should smell it this is this is good stuff this is Sweet citrus with soft floral undertones. Oh, so very Florida. Look at them with their citrus. Yeah, this is going to smell good. This is what I'm using, going to use as my, um, my face wash. And this, I'm trying to look if it says anything about it being anything, but I don't. See, like a bar like this, this was probably about as big as the bar that I got from Zero Waste, and it's lasted me a year. So, I mean, money well spent. Okay, the next one is uh, a soap. This is a soap bar. It says laundry bar and stain remover. Um, I'm probably going to dual purpose it by, well, what I kind of mostly got it for was to put on my sink like this in my kitchen and use my brush to wash dishes. So that's kind of the main reason why I got this. I probably will still try to, um, sorry, I'm trying to figure out the smell at the same time. Probably will try to use it with my clothes. I can't tell what it is, but I mostly bought it just for your zero waste kitchen soap okay and now the next one it's probably the most shocking of zero waste swaps like these ones were all like normal the Swiffer was like oh that's creative good for you coffee filter oh my god this one is gonna be a little bit more more shocking and actually this was my husband's idea um, so I always get get angry with him because he will use half a roll of toilet paper or more for one time going poop one time a whole half roll of toilet paper and that's very frustrating to me because that's a lot of toilet paper 
one, how does it not clog the toilet? Uh, two, he needs to get a handle on that. And I've mentioned so many times, I was like, you use too much toilet paper. It should not take, a normal human being should not be using that much toilet paper. So, he's like, oh, maybe we should get a bidet. I was like, well, maybe we will. So, that's what I got. I purchased a bidet. I don't know how I feel about this yet. I'm obviously going to use it and so yeah I'm pretty much I'm going to give up toilet paper at home you know using this um I'm a little scared but I think it'll work so this is just what it looks like like the instructions of putting it in but it's a Lux it's a Lux bidet Neo 120 it actually wasn't that expensive and this is non-electric um you can it says water pressure control self-clean nozzle I'm still gonna clean it um patent sleek design I mean I am kind of excited to use this like I'm not gonna lie and so in order to go with that I in order to give up uh toilet paper I got some, these are cloth diaper wipes, like, that you use for cloth diapering. Um, this is by Grovia, and they're just, uh, oh man, I didn't know they were polyester. Dang it. Okay, well, they're polyester cotton blend. So, that was my bad. I just wanted these. I knew they were soft. I thought they were all cotton. Is this a zero waste fail? I don't know. Um, for those of you who don't know, polyester is plastic. So these are made of plastic. Uh, okay, it is what it is. I'm gonna use these. But basically I got these just to pat myself dry because I'm not gonna be waiting 30 minutes or however long it takes to drip dry. You know, as a female, I need toilet paper every single time I go to the bathroom. So it's like, I need something so I got these and we're just gonna wash them they're just for drying purposes this is not to wipe anything gross the bidet is gonna take care of the gross part this is gonna take care of the drying part um, and like I said cloth wipes I could have made these I didn't want to make them so hence why I outsourced but yeah so this is my entire zero waste ish haul um obviously i'm not perfect because i accidentally bought like a polyester blend wipe but i did i mean overall i did okay and the reality is is that even if these don't end up getting used for the bidet like let's say i hate it if i ever cloth diaper another child now i have wipes so <laughs> what's a little lose lose not sure so or they'll become dish you know, uh, dish like wiping, like cleaning wipes or, you know, there's plenty of it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Maybe you found something interested, interesting. Uh, I'm going to be doing an update on no toilet paper life. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Let me know if you like, uh, the zero waste like stuff. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye.